Hi guys, this is John Seiler, JS Dev, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a uh, custom Zeppelin logo, okay? And when we get started here, I'm going to show you a program, it's called uh, iFunBox, and I'm going to be using it here in this video, um, and you can find it at i-funbox.com, and I will uh, put a link in the description. And what iFunBox will do, it's going to allow us to uh, drag and drop the theme we're, or uh, the logo we're about to create into uh, your iDevice. Okay, and you can download it for both Windows and Mac. All right, and uh, now we're going to open up uh, Photoshop or whatever uh, photo editing software you use, um, and we're going to open up and create a new project. And um, it doesn't matter what you start the uh, project size as, um, pixel-wise. Um, just try to make it to where it'll be easy to resize it, um, because we're going to be resizing it to both uh, 120 by 40 and um, 60 by 20. Okay. Okay, now that I'm done creating the logo, um, what we're going to do is go ahead and resize the image. Okay, now the image size I'm going to use here is a, a width of 120 pixels and a height of 40. Um, that's really the highest you can do um, with a Zeppelin logo. Um, and so that's what I'm going to go ahead and use because this logo will actually allow that. Now you can do smaller, um, like we can actually do uh, a height of, uh, say, 35 and a width of 105, and that'll be fine. As long as it doesn't go over... 120 by 40 okay now that we've got this resized we're gonna go ahead and save it now we want to save this as a PNG file and uh, let me find somewhere to create a new folder okay we'll create one here on desktop um, create a new folder and name it um, whatever you would like to name it um, I'm gonna name this one Zeppelin tutorial go ahead and open up that file and we're going to save the images here all right and we're actually going to save this image just several times for so the first time we're going to save it as black at 2x okay and then we're going to save it again in the same file same image as dark at 2x etched at 2x light at 2x and then we're going to save it one more time as silver at 2x okay and um, another thing I recommend if you really want to try it um, I never really do because I don't really use black and white oh did the wrong one don't forget to save it as a PNG not a PSD but um is each file name do a different color and that way you can actually learn which ones you use where um, when you're on your phone or your iPad or whatever device you're using um, Okay, now next what we want to do, now that we're done saving them as at 2x's, we want to go ahead and go back to image size, and uh, we want to resize these. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to resize them half of what it is now. So right now, since it's 120 over 40, we're going to change it to 60 over 20. Okay, and the easiest way to just cut it in half is to uh, just make sure the pro constrained proportions is clicked on and uh, cut the width in half, and it'll automatically do the same for the height. Okay, and then what we want to do is we need to go ahead and save this one. Okay, we're going to save it in the same file and everything. Um, the only different thing we're going to really do is we're going to save them as the same exact things you see here, black, dark, etched, light, and silver, except we're not going to save it with the at 2x in the name. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and quickly save the rest of these. Okay, now that we're done, we're going to go ahead and go into iFunBox or WinSCP, whatever 
software you want to use. And uh, in iPhone Box, we can actually come down here and click on iPhone Block Box Classic. Um, this is actually the easiest way I have found to do it, and that's why I've kind of switched to it. Okay, now once we get to uh, iPhone Box Classic, um, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Give me just a moment here. Let me figure it out. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go to raw file system. And over here in the right-hand side of it, we're going to go to the library. Click on library. Scroll right here to Zeppelin. Open it up. And then all you really want to do is just go ahead and look for the uh, Zeppelin file. And uh, there it is. And uh, just drag and drop it. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the iPhone and check it out. Okay, and here we are in the iPhone, and uh, all you do now is just go into settings, scroll down to Zeppelin, uh, make sure it's enabled, go to theme, and scroll to your uh, custom Zeppelin theme, and uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope this tutorial really helped, and uh, for more tutorial, just be sure to subscribe. Thank you.